I'm going to show you how to set up a filtration system, and this is a gravity filtration system. So for this, you need your funnel. You will also need um, a ring clamp, which looks like this. You will need a clamp stand. You need a clay triangle, and of course, you need the appropriate size of the filter paper. So if your funnel is about this size, then you can't use a small filter paper. You will need a larger size, so take that filter paper. And you have to prepare it, which means that you'll have to fold it. And there are two ways of doing filtration. You can either just go ahead and use the filter paper like this. Now remember when you fold it twice, you will have three sides on one and then one paper side on one. So you can just use it like this, okay, which is perfect also. So depending on what you're filtering, um, this is what you would use, okay, for most part. However, if you need a little bit faster um, filtration, then you would make what is called a fluted filter paper. And a fluted filter paper is something that is folded a lot. And what it does is just the folding gives it a little bit more surface area and the filtration occurs a little faster. So you just keep folding it on top of each other until you get this nice kind of a fold. And this is what a fluted filter paper is. Okay, and so now let's go ahead and set this up on our stand. So here is your ring clamp. Here is the clay triangle which you place over here. And you can, uh, can place your funnel right here. Now typically, uh, you can also place your funnel like this. Okay, depending on the size of the ring, you can place it like this. So for example, in this case, the clamp is, uh, the ring clamp is large enough that I can use the funnel like this. And the clay triangle is very small because it's not giving good balance, so this is not a good technique. So for this one, I will just go ahead and use the funnel like this. And then I will go ahead and place my filter paper on here. But as you can see, the filter paper is kind of jumping away, okay, from the uh, funnel. So what I need to do is I need to set it down, and the best way to set it down is by using water. And so I will hold it down, or whatever solvent you're filtering, okay? If you're using water, use water. If you're using some other solvent, use that to wet the filter paper. And so you just take the solvent and you squirt a little bit on the filter paper and this will make it stick on the funnel. Okay, now you just wanna make sure that when you're setting up your filtration is that your funnel stem is not too far from wherever you're filtering. So this is fine, you could lower it down a little bit more if you wanted to. And this is just to make sure that things don't spatter out as you're working. So you can also touch the stem with the side of the beaker or the flask that you're using for filtration. Whatever uh, you're using, it's fine. And then to do the filtration itself, you will need, of course, your substance that you are filtering. So depending on what you're trying to filter, if you have a very fine filtrate in there or filter uh, precipitate in there, which means it's dispersed all around, okay, then there is a different way of filtering. And if you have something that settles at the bottom, okay, then there is another way of filtering. So in the first one, if you have a very fine uh, precipitate in there, then the best thing to do is swirl and then use a stirring rod as your guide and pour your solution or your mixture right in the funnel. And the stirring rod makes sure that you don't lose any filtrate because it's going right on the stirring rod on the spout right there. And so then you don't lose any drop from the side of the beaker. Okay, this works really good if you have a fine precipitate. If you have a very thick precipitate which is sitting at the bottom like sand um, over here and you know it's not mixing very well, and if you go slow for that one, then you will never get the sand out. So in those cases, what you need to do is you need to swirl, swirl, swirl really fast, okay? And then pour it really fast, okay, in there. And then you will see that you get a lot of it out of the beaker. And then if there is anything remaining at the bottom of the beaker, then you can use a squirt bottle to wash the rest of it out. So use the pressure of the water to get the rest of it out. Okay, that's what you do and I know 
there's no sand in there right now that you can see, but it works. Okay, so that is your filtration system, and see over here, this, the liquid is going right into the flask, it's not splattering out, so that's what you want in there. Okay, and be careful with the filter paper because it's wet. When you lift it, it might tear, so be careful.